What up YouTubers, Sage here, and today, due to popular request, um, I've been getting hundreds of emails, hundreds of messages, and a lot of people have been asking me this exact same question. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get iOS 7 Beta 5 for free without any UDID or a developer account on your iPod, iPhone, and iPad. Let's get started. So guys, the first thing you're going to want to obviously do is connect your iOS device to your computer like so. I'm going to be demonstrating this on the 5th generation iPod Touch, which currently is the only iPod Touch that will work with iOS 7 at the date of filming of this video. And guys, if you're not sure, I'll put um, a list down below in the description with the download link, so then you can see if your device is compatible or not. Also, I'll leave a link to Apple's website to their iOS 7 article, so you can check there if you would like. And with that said, I'd like to point out that this video is for ed educational purposes only. I'm not accountable or responsible for any loss or damage to your device. You're doing this completely on your own risk. And with that said, let's continue. So, first thing you're going to want to do is, um, for me it's going to say restore iPod. You're going to want to restore it here by clicking restore. This will be key to um, bypassing the UDID registration. And basically what Apple uses this for is to check to see if you have an Apple developer account, a paid one. Basically, um, if you, when people have an Apple developer account, they can take your device's UDID and re register it in their list. And then they have access to all the betas. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to bypass that and do it completely free. So you can show it off to all your friends and um, make them jealous that you have iOS 7. Anyway, let's continue. So, we're going to click continue here. And it's going to start extracting the software and prepare it's fully restored with iOS 6.1.3. And um, once you get to this point, you're not going to want to continue with the setup because if you do, this will not work. Okay, so guys, the next step that you're going to have to do is if you haven't already, you're going to go down in the description and you're going to um, look for your um, IPSW in the description. I made a list with links to all the devices that will be working with iOS 7 in there. Once you do that, you're going to click on the link and you'll be prompted to download the iOS 7 IPSW. Once you've done that, you're going to, um, if you're on a Mac, you're going to option click on check for update, like what I'm going to do here. Then I'm going to locate my um, file, which is right here. We're going to click open. And then we're going to click update. And now it's going to start extracting software, verify the update with Apple, and it's going to start installing. And as you can see guys, we already have the um, redesigned Apple logo for iOS on my screen here. And it's already starting to install. As you can so see here, we are at the iOS 7 setup. As you can see, it's saying hello. So um, let's get started with the setup. I'm going to swipe here to continue. I'm going to choose my Wi-Fi network once I find it. Then we're going to click next. We're going to enable location services and um, I already backed up my iPod from before because I did delete everything just to show you guys so I will set this up as a new iPod for now. I will sign in with my Apple ID after. Yes I'm sure. It's loading. Um, we're going to agree to the terms and conditions. And then um, I'm going to create a passcode quickly. We're going to use Siri, of course. And sure, we'll send some diagnostics. And yeah, so here it says welcome to iPod and we're going to click get started. Alright guys, and just to confirm that this is beta 5, we're going to go into settings and yeah, as you can see, all the icons now have colors now. It's not just the your apps. It's all the um, icons now. So instead of that um, gray icon with the blue outline, they now have colors now. And another way you can tell is if you go to your lock screen, and then you notice an arrow right there that's right beside the slide to unlock. Also, you can see a slight redesign with the number pad here. Also, another way is if you turn it off by holding down the power button, you can see a, a little bit of a redesign with that. And yeah, so guys, that's basically how you install iOS um, 7 Beta 5 with no UDID and no Apple developer account. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If, you've, if you're feeling awesome today and you 
this helped you, give that like button a smack, and also favorite this video, and share it with all your friends and all that. And yeah, and also don't forget to subscribe for future content and lots more um, entertaining stuff. Alright guys, and as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.